Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise, and in today's Dropship Daily, I'm going to be talking about the 10 best dropship products of 2018. So yes, I know, this is a big, awesome video, and you guys are going to love it. So um, first of all, let's look at something like Amazon.com, and we can kind of check out what they're selling and what their chop products are as far as... Uh, excitement goes. So I've seen a lot of cool niches lately and I wanted to give you guys those niches. Um, the first ones are in the uh, home niche. So let's see here. Kitchen dining, bed and bath, garden and outdoor, and into the sports and outdoors niches. Let's see here. Uh, some really cool ones in golf and cycling and of course water sports okay let's get into these so kitchen and bath is pretty cool there's a lot of different things you can do here and of course we're talking high ticket drop shipping okay we're not talking like low ticket items so the first things I want to show you are espresso machines next thing I want to show you is uh, commercial equipment. I think we'll just go broadly into that category. Okay, and then beer brewing. Next thing is bed and bath. Okay, let me show you guys. Um, here it is, bed and bath. Bathroom storage. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to all bath. It looks like so I'm looking for a particular product that didn't show up right there. So the cool thing about product niches is you can go through Amazon and you can find tons of product ideas. And I'm gonna show you the way to do it right now. If my computer loads fast, it's loading kind of slow right now. But um, you can click on any category, right? And you can drill down on this left-hand side menu, and you can go to like semi-automatic espresso machines, steam espresso, super automatic espresso machines, manual espresso machines. There's all these different subcategories. So if you did a site on espresso machines, you would understand that these are the categories that you'd probably start with, right? But if you scroll down, you see this little bar here, um, and it says sort by. If you change it from featured to high to low on price, It'll actually show you um, high to low what the prices are, and see high ticket drop shipping. We're looking for products that are, you know, priced somewhere around a thousand dollars more or less, and this is a seventeen thousand dollar niche at the highest point. So that's a really good niche to start with because you have really high priced products. And you might be saying, okay, Trevor, that's crazy. I'm not going to sell a seventeen thousand dollar product, and that may be true, but you might be able to sell a five thousand dollar product, or you know, even like a thousand dollar, two thousand dollar product in your website. As long as you're targeting the right people with your advertising and with your marketing, then the people that have a lot of money to spend and need these products, and you have a really good value offering for them, you will be able to sell these products online. And that's what I teach in my dropshipping masterclass in the eCommerce Paradise Academy. So definitely go check that out, link in the, in the description below. And if you're just getting started, you can sign up for my free dropshipping mini course, link below for that as well. So check this out, guys. Um, you can see some of the really popular brands that are in the right price point. $2,500, Nuova, Breville, things like this. Okay, so these are great products to drop ship. And obviously my internet's loading really slow right now for some reason. I'm gonna pause the video and try to figure that out. All right, so I finally got the pictures to load. So now you can take a look at what these uh, espresso machines really look like, these really high-end ones. And these are the types of things you'll see at you know cafes and restaurants, bakeries. Uh, and But some people do have these for their home. Uh, so you'll be probably targeting a lot of businesses if you were to go sell these things. So if you just understand that, you can uh, make your marketing messages you know, to do that. So that's it for the first one, guys, is espresso machines. All right, so let's get into number two. All right, so the second niche is a little bit more broad, and I opened up a bunch of subcategories just so you guys can see. But food, service, and equipment and supplies is kind of like a... Uh, it's a professional and, um, and business-oriented niche. Okay, So the first sub-niche that I opened up was commercial food storage. So I'm going to scroll down here and go to high to low. And it should adjust here to show me. OK, cool. So we got these uh, portable food bars. That's pretty cool, $2,000 each, $1,000 each. And it's mainly one brand called Carlisle. 
And then you got Hunt Gold. Looks like they have uh, Electric Spoon Measuring Scale Ground. What that is. Oh, here we go. Here's more of these restaurant supplies. So this is the idea. Um, it, you could start a restaurant supply store, and what you would want to do is find a niche store to see if they're, you know, uh, online only, and then you could hit up their suppliers. Um, but this is just getting niche ideas, and so here's another niche idea. Okay, so let's see within that niche how many other sub niches we can find that are in that price range. Again, guys, this is not about finding niche stores and, and extracting suppliers and, and verifying that a niche is dropped your family. This is just getting niche ideas from Amazon. And all we're really looking at right now is price range. Okay, so there's a lot of other things to, to think about when it comes to niche selection. Um, but this is pretty good to start with. Look at these. They're $45,000 restaurant refrigerator or like, what are these called? Uh, cooking equipment. So commercial broilers, charbroilers, griddles, ovens, and ranges. Um, very expensive product, something that probably, you know, restaurants definitely buy online, I bet, because they want to have it freight delivered and they want to have a good deal on it. So there's a great niche to get into. I'm probably going to start a store on doing commercial cooking equipment now <laughs> and let you guys know how that goes. So there's another niche, um, sub-niche that is. All right, and then there's dishwashing equipment. Let's look at that and see if that's within the price ranges. High ticket. Yeah, sure enough. Um, all the way up to three hundred thousand dollars, but um, here we have some fifty thousand um, dollar speed dishwashers. So these are really cool products you could sell, um, maybe if you got an account with this person. Again, guys, this is like way overboard. Um, really, ideally, we're looking at products that are around the thousand to five thousand dollar level. Um, but hey, man, if these people need help marketing their products and you can be that marketer, then you 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 can get good at business to business marketing, which is different from business to consumer marketing. Potentially, you can make quite a bit of money with this niche, probably, because profit margins with dropshipping are usually 20 to 30 percent gross, 15 to 25 net after shipping and fees, right? So if you're looking at a $10,000 product, you're going to sell a $10,000 product at you know 15, even the lowest 15 percent net. Um, you're looking at $1,500 on one sale, so that's definitely worth your time and effort to build something out of, right? Okay. So with that said, let's move on to the next one: uh, food preparation equipment, which is still within the. Uh, within the commercial restaurant niche. Okay, and again, very expensive products, right? Food preparation equipment, 23, 25,000. I bet there's plenty of products that are within that um, one to $5,000 range within this niche. Refrigeration equipment, and it's just, this niche just goes on and on. So, one more look. Yep, um, wow, shipping containers, okay, interesting. Next one. Uh, restaurant furniture, so of course this is going to be closer to what we're looking at. There's not going to be $25,000 stools. Oh, what do you know? $29,000 uh, ultimate chef's table. Okay. $10,000, $10,000. Let's go down Let's see if there's anything less expensive here. Yeah, there's no images available for most of this stuff, but there we go. So restaurant furniture can also be very expensive. And the last thing I think in this niche, I believe... Oh! Almost last thing. Oh, yeah, that is the last thing. Work tables and workstations. So let's go ahead and search that. Hi to low. Yep, cool. So even the work tables and workstations can be very, very expensive, which, of course, for us as dropshippers can be very lucrative, okay? So that is the second niche, which is commercial restaurant equipment. The third niche in my list of the best drop shipping products and niches for 2018 is beer brewing products. Okay, and the reason why I say that is because it's a very, very popular uh, niche. People love home brewing, and it's kind of a DIY thing too, so it's super popular. So I searched price high to low. I want to see what kind of products are available here. And here we go. So we have a lot of these uh, kettles. Um, we have a lot of very expensive brewing equipment products in the $5,000 range, which is great for us. I'll probably be starting a website on this kind of stuff too eventually. And I've seen a few successful sites doing this product stuff, so it's a good thing. Good, good sign that it's popular and professional. Let's see, $3,500, that's great. So plenty of cool, you know, party kind of equipment for really nice, um, you know, high-end households. Lots of uh, at-home taps, you know, this would be a great, com uh, this would be a great thing to be in combination with another store that I'll show you right now actually. Um, I'm not a store, but like another niche. But with that said, I am going to mark home brewing kits and home brewing equipment as the third product. This brought to mind a new pro uh, one that I've done before, which is home bars. 
And uh, home bars are really cool. So let's show you these guys. If, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, right here is a thousand dollar bar, sixteen hundred dollar bar. A lot of cheaper bars, of course. Amazon likes to show you the cheap stuff. Let's go to the high to low. And here we go. Nineteen hundred dollars, two thousand sixteen hundred, eleven hundred. There's a lot of uh, very uh, successful e-commerce stores doing home bars. So a home bar store next to a home brewing store would be perfect in combination with each other, I think. And it's really important to always be doing niche sites, guys. If you want to have like a general broad site to test out niches, that's fine. Um, and you can grow with that, but then also branch off and do like separate sub niche sites. Okay. And it sounds like a lot of work, but it's not once you set up all the automation. All right. So with that said, home bars in my next niche. All right. So on to number five, I wanted to go to the bathroom. Okay, so we wound up here, and I'm going to go here and look at the high to low products, see what's most expensive in the bathroom. Here we go, tubs. So tubs are very good, and vanities. Both tubs and vanities, I've seen a lot of stores selling these, and they're very, very popular. They're also very, very competitive and expensive. Oh, and steam showers as well. So tubs, vanities, and steam showers, those will be the next three niches, even though they're all kind of similar to each other, and they all can be put into one store. Um, they can also be put into separate stores and sold separately because they do have their own spec specific specificities. <laughs> can you say that 10 times fast? Uh, Every product type basically is going to have like different sizes, dimensions, colors, shapes, models, modes, whatever you want to call them. So all these different things um, can be very complicated for consumers basically. So if you can set up a, an e-commerce site comparing all the different products within one product category, it makes it much easier for the consumer to shop those products. And if you can set yourself up apart as the expert in that niche, you can build an authority site on that particular niche, like let's just say bathroom vanities, then you will become the expert in that niche and um, you'll be able to beat out the competition. So there you go, guys. Um, I'm gonna put those as my next three niches because they're just really good. All right, guys, so that's that. Let's go on to patio, lawn, and garden. Let's see what's popular in here. Um, okay, home decor. Garden and outdoor. Let's see. Oh, yeah, grills. So, grills are really cool and um, very popular product, of course. Also, very drop shippable. A lot of these uh, companies that have grills and smokers and all sorts of things, they need help selling their products. So, let's go and check out High to Low. Here we go. So, the first thing that pops up is a uh, gas deck oven. Man, oh, these are really expensive products. Right? Um, so there you go. There's all the different types of grills. You can see here charcoal grills, electric grills, gra gas grills. There's also even more. There's um, wood pellet grills, natural gas propane. So yeah, grills are a great niche to get into, guys. I'm going to have a separate grill store as well, and uh, that'll be really fun to do. So that's niche number eight, I believe. So I'm going to go over actually three more. So I'm going to give you like a baker's dozen, um, 11 niches for the price of 10, even though you didn't pay anything for this, but you are watching it, so you're going to get 11 for 10. Um, in golf, there's some really cool niches, and one of them is training equipment and range finders. Golf bags, balls, fleet sets, all that, drivers, woods. You might be able to drop ship those, but they're very brand loyal, brand sensitive. Right? So it's not so much something we want to dropship as it is something that we could do affiliate marketing for. And that's a separate business model. I'll be doing videos on that as well. But let's go into the training equipment section and go high to low. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. All right, so for $1,000, you can buy a golf simulator and swing analyzer. So golf simulators are these really popular things you can put in your home. And I've seen quite a few stores selling these things now. And they're uh, very popular and very lucrative. They also have tons of product specificities and need clarification and comparison for consumers. So definitely recommend golf simulators. That's my next niche. The next niche is a niche that I've actually sold. Our last store was a store selling bicycles, but not just any type of bicycles, a very special, special type of bicycle called an e-bike. And these are really fun bikes. These are bikes with electric motors and batteries attached to them, so they're really, really cool. Um, they are kind of a pain in the butt to sell, and that's why we sold the store, but they are very lucrative. So if you are the type of person that loves bikes and you know a lot about them already and you don't mind going through the pain and hassle of actually dealing with the support that comes with these things because they are very complicated devices um, and can have a lot of issues, well, electric bicycles are a great thing to sell, and they're 
they're trending like crazy still. The trends are going way up, way fast. They're all over YouTube. People are buying them like crazy on Amazon. 153 reviews on this one, 182 on this one. Um, there's tons of dropshippable brands in this niche now. We first got into selling them back in 2013, I think, or 2012. And uh, it was very little back then. I think there was maybe one or two dropshippable brands and in the last year. It just blew up. So there's a lot of lot new dropship sites out there, but they're all very newbie marketers as well. So there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> open uh, av availability for competition. So if you guys think it's a product that would be for you, even though it's very complicated and a pain in the butt to do support for, then go for it. Have fun with it. <clears throat> E-bikes is niche number 10. And then I will go into the bonus niche. Alright guys, so the last niche is actually inflatable boats. Inflatable boats is something that I have sold in the past in a different store. Um, <clears throat> I got out of it because I realized that it wasn't as high a profit margin as I wished, but it does sell and they are popular. So I'll show you right now. I actually opened the thing for kayaks, so you're going to see those only. But as you can see here, kayaks are very expensive. There's lots of different types up into the $5,000 range. And uh, they are drop shippable and they are very popular. And the inflatable ones are cool because those can be rolled up into a box and shipped instead of having to be, you know, sent in freight or whatever. So um, inflatable paddle boards, inflatable kayaks, inflatable canoes, all these things are very popular and drop shippable and they're pretty profitable. Uh, they're not the most profitable thing, but it's cool. And if it's something that you enjoy and you're passionate about, then hey, there you go. I usually, I tell people for sure not to pursue your passion so much as pursue profitability, but when you can find something that's profitable and passionate, for you, it sure makes running the business easier and more fun when you get to the point um, when you're going through growth stages and going through the dip of your business. You guys enjoyed that, and um, definitely subscribe to the eCommerce Paradise YouTube channel, and definitely sign up for the uh, Dropshipping Mini Course link in the description, and uh, Dropshipping Masterclass as well. We'll see you guys out there.